Hey everybody, today I'm going to be making a roast on top of the stove and um, usually I do it in the crock pot or in the stove, but today I decided to do it on top. And uh, so for a while I'll be cooking it um, by itself in the pot and then I'll add the other ingredients later like the potatoes, onions and that sort of thing. So. I'll just bring you down and let you um, see. Here's the pot. Here's the roast, and it's partially frozen, which is okay. And I won't be adding any water since this is frozen because it's got uh, enough liquid in it. So to this, I'm gonna add some tomato juice. And I'm gonna add some ketchup. And the ketchup gives it a real rich uh, flavor. And I like to add kind of a lot. So now I'm gonna add my seasoning. And the first thing is the garlic that I've uh, infused. And I'm gonna add pretty much That was probably two big tablespoons. And also to it, I'm gonna add some basil, which you know, I really love basil. And I'm gonna add about, you know what, I'm standing here shaking it and there's not a bit of basil in there. I'm gonna get my basil and put some in there. And then this is beef. What this is is different seasonings I've had that work well with beef. And I've just put them all in here because there was just a little bit here and a little bit there of it. So I'm going to add um, that's probably about a tablespoon and a half. Then some complete, I like this, it's just a mixture of a lot of seasonings and about a tablespoon of that. So I'm gonna get my basil and fill up my um, container and add some basil to this. And uh, then I'll come back in probably a couple hours and add my vegetables and let you see that. But I'm gonna let this simmer on a very, very low, um, just slightly bubbling simmer for those two hours. So I'll see you back shortly. The roast has cooked enough now that we can go ahead and add the vegetables and there it is. It's not completely uh, tender yet, but um, it will be when the vegetables are done. So I'm going to put in some celery and potatoes and onion. So I'm just going to put that on in. As you can tell, we really like the potatoes in it. Get it. Stir it up just a little bit. And I've tasted the broth on this and it is really so good. So that's all in there and I'll see you back when it's done.
And also, I'm going to make biscuits to go with it, so we'll make the biscuits. I'm gonna go ahead and make the biscuits and the roast is just about done. And you're gonna see two streaks on the screen probably. They're coming from the light up above and it's the first time it's ever done that. And I have tried and tried to get them off the screen and I can't. So it shouldn't really bother anything, but um, hopefully it won't happen again. Also, I should have put my pot on the other side of the stove so that you could have seen me make the biscuits easier. But, um, the burner's too hot to move it now and try to make the biscuits over here. So we'll just do the best we can do. And um, I think maybe you can see fairly well. I hope so anyway. So I have some flour that I've put in my bowl. And I'm setting uh, my stuff on a baking sheet because it's a lot easier to clean up. And then this baking sheet will be what I use to put the biscuits on. And I am going to put get some lard uh, out of here. This is Crisco. And I'm going to get some out with my hands that I've washed. And um, do all the work on the baking sheet so that I can just take it to the sink and wash it and, and that be all I have to do. And sometimes I cut out the biscuits and sometimes I just roll them up and today I'm gonna just kind of form them by hand and so you just work the um, Crisco into the flour and I've got that worked into like um, the flowers now kind of like a coarse texture. Make a little well in your flour and add some milk. And then work your milk into your flour until you have a nice dough. Uh, if you don't measure like I do, like I don't, you would want to put maybe less milk than what you think you need and then keep adding a little bit at a time. It's easier than adding more flour and all that. And so you get your, your dough out. Put it on your countertop or your baking sheet or whatever you're working with. And just knead it a few times and by that you pick it up and then kind of stick your heel into your dough and just work it like that and when you've kneaded it a few times you start making your biscuits decide how big you want them to be and then Just form it kind of into a patty like that and put it on your baking sheet. And if you have the sides touching, your biscuits will be a little bit uh, softer. And so I'll go ahead 
and finish making the biscuits. I'm gonna put them in the oven at 425 degrees for about 15 minutes. And when they're done, we'll come back and get a plate of um, roast and a biscuit and see what we think. Supper's ready and everything is done. So I'm just gonna give you a look. And here is the roast. And it is really tender. And then here is the vegetables. And the broth. And I always like plenty of broth because Randy likes meat. And I like vegetables and broth. And he won't eat hardly any vegetables and I won't eat any meat at all. And then... Here are the biscuits. So I'm going to go ahead and fix Randy's plate. And I'm going to get him a, I got him a nice piece of roast there. Then I'll give him some vegetables. He won't, like I say, eat hardly any of it. And then he wanted two biscuits. So there it is. That's Randy suffer and of course if he wants more he can uh, get it but I appreciate you watching I hope you learned something from the video and I always appreciate your kind words and your comments and you ca always coming back to see what I'm doing so take care excuse me take care and I'll see you soon bye bye